2013 football season in the Granite State, and it's 2013 is a year of change up here. Um, behind me, I've seen these high-tech, highly explosive, beautiful uh, Friday night lights here at Pickering Academy. Uh, we got conference play in the state of New Hampshire, which is down to three state state titleists at the end of this thing instead of six, which is a little too bloated. But one thing that hasn't changed is the Astros again are right at the top of the Division One heat. I'm here with um, Matt Madden and Manny Lattimore. We're talking a little bit of uh, Astro football. And Matt, I know you guys lost a ton of people. The St. Andres, a lot of guys on offense, guys up front, have, has Pickett recovered. Uh, we had a lot, a great graduating class this, last year, but honestly, no disrespect to the class that just graduated. We have a bunch of talent this year. If we can put it to use, I think we will be very hard to be stopped. Our offensive line looks like one of the best offensive line we've had in a while. Our backfield, we've got 10 solid backs. We've got three solid quarterbacks. So I think we're going to be very tough to compete with this year. Last time I was on a football field in New Hampshire, Matt, Matt was standing in cockies, not in a full uniform. Uh, everybody wants to know, how's the, how's the mate? It's great. Uh, it's 150 percent. I'm ready to come back bigger and better, stronger. Can't wait to lay some heads out. I missed my opportunity in the championship game last year, so uh, we're looking to get that back this year as a team. How tough was that? I mean, you got another chance, but still. One of the worst experiences in my life is having to watch my. I was happy for my guys out there on the field, but I would have loved to be out there, and I hope that we would have loved for me to be out there too, because I'm sure we would have pulled that one off. Part of the, the one of the good things about coming back this year is the fact you got this guy in your offensive backfield. Yes, it is. He's explosive. He can. He's uh, the game breaker. Um, he's probably the best offensive player in the state returning right now. He's Manny Lattimore. And uh, Manny, how, how ready are you for a big year? I'm ready. I'm ready just to go out and try to win another championship. Uh, thinking. How are you feeling? Do the legs feel good. I mean, you ready to carry the load? Yeah. Uh, everything feels great. Great to have Matt Madden back with me. Uh, everything feels great with me, so I mean, I'm ready to go out there and play some football. All right, Manny, you're on offense. I want the secret. Who's got the in, the inside track on the quarterback job? I'm told there's three <laughs> different guys out there. I mean, I, I have no clue. All of our quarterbacks are looking really sharp right now. Uh, they're all delivering the ball very well. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be a surprise to me, and as well as the other players who the actual first turn quarterback is so it'll be a surprise all right conference play you guys are with the Manchester schools Londonderry and Salem yep. uh, Goffstown and Merrimack talk to me um, do you feel like you guys are the team to beat in that conference absolutely um, I mean those are some great teams uh, big physical great teams but I mean I feel like we can pull it out against them I feel like uh, we have a little bit more heart a little bit more speed maybe a little bit more athleticism than them so uh, we'll see. It'll be a great match to watch. All right, got to put you two guys on the spot. Matt, you have known for your defense, and uh, you play at linebacker. I need you to tell me one guy, who, if I don't know picking in football, one guy on the defensive side who I have to watch this year besides yourself. One guy on the defensive side yeah. is my friend, Markavius Bonds, who just came up from Alabama. He's going to be a force to be reckoned with. I'd watch out. He's a defensive end. Okay. You want, you don't have your hair on a swivel, he will crack you. We got a number I for him yet? Or? Uh, we do not have a okay. number. We just picked numbers today. So you'll find out Friday Night Lights, the Jamboree. All right, and I can't let you off, Manny, without, without somebody naming somebody else on offense. If the ball's not in your hands, who do I got to watch on the offensive side of the football? Hmm, I'm going to say watch out for Jason Hansen, and I'll even throw another one, uh, James Tui. Watch out for James Tui. He's what one of our that I play? He, James Tui is a wide receiver, and Jason Hansen is a fullback. Uh, watch out for both of them. They're actually very explosive. Jason, for his size, is very fast. Tui is if not faster than me, as fast as me, so watch out for them. Of course, you got to give the, the fullback his props because he <laughs> takes care of you on a lot of those running yeah, plays. Yeah. All right, so we're here with Pinkerton. Again, the team, one of the teams to be in their conference, if not all of Division I, uh, finalists last year, and looking to take it one step further this time around. Across the 
Granite State on one of the great golf courses we have to offer here. Jack Caddy Smiles. Why? The answer is because I'm back at Salem High School and they're running Coach Caddy's offense that he made so famous here, the double wing, the, some variation of the single wing, and they're running the football in Salem. And it looks like it's making these guys pretty happy too. I got Jason Martinez, I've got Zach Lepaka, and I got Jared Lazowski right here to my right. Um, you guys look a little bit happy. They just finished through a scrimmage. Looks like all systems were going, Jason. How, how, how do you feel? It you felt great, man. Finally running the ball again like we used to. We all know the plays is, is going great, man. Definitely. Jared, um, you're a, a, an offensive lineman by trade. Yeah. You get to go out and you hit people and get aggressive. Um, tell me about this switch to the more of a running game as opposed to the spread offense you had last year. I love it. It makes it that much funny. Yeah. Is it? What is it about? Is it just you, you get to be aggressive instead of guys hitting you? Uh, it's about the same. You have to be aggressive in both systems. Mm -hmm. But this one, it's a little bit shorter of a step to hit people. It's not as much as zone. Now, Zach, you would have been looking for a position last this year if we, if we came in with the spread. Yeah. Instead, we get the diminutive fullbacks are back in Salem. Yeah. Uh, that could be a good thing. Are you ready for a big year running the ball? Yeah, uh, definitely, man. Definitely running hard, making some nice kick-up blocks with Jason. We have the outside threat here with Jason. Do you feel like if you, that would be a key to get him into the open field? Is for that sure. the key to the offense? For sure. Jay's one of our best running backs, especially when he gets into open space. He gets that second line, man, and I think he's one of the best in the league. All right, guys, we switch a little bit to conference play, and uh, the schedule switches a little bit. You, Timberland, who you just scrimmaged, you don't play during the regular season. Um, you play a few of the Manchester teams in your division, and, of course, Pinkerton Academy, Londonderry, a lot of the, uh, they expect to be the better teams. Where do you think you guys fit in, Jason? Where do you, where do you think you guys fit in? I think we're going to do great, actually, in this conference. Like We have a great shot, and I think we're playing real hard, and we're going to prove a lot of people wrong. We're going to do good. Yeah. Do you have to learn how to win, Jared? I mean, it's tough last year. No, no it's just... You just got to do it. You just have to do what you have to do. You feel the same way? I mean, is, is, can you get that, flip the switch For and sure. go from a team that sure. found a way to lose last year? You guys found some ways to lose last year. Hey, we're a different team. That's behind us. Mm -hmm. Coach Pike always saying, do your job. And if we go and do that every day, we're going to do just fine. All right, I'm going to end this one with the same way I've ended at every, at every um, interview. I'm going to put you guys on the spot here. Jason, I need somebody on offense who's not in this group right here that's going to surprise me and be a player for you guys. This, this, uh, I think Jake Poor, he's a wide receiver, a split end. He's going to be a senior this year. He's going to do great this okay, season. That's, that's Nick Poor's younger brother for you baseball Definitely fans out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about you? So give me somebody on defense, Jared. Somebody somebody who you know is going to knock some heads. That I'm going to notice that number if I go to see a Salem game. Gabe Pena, linebacker. Yeah. yeah. What year is he? He's a senior. Okay. Another heavy hitter? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now you get the bonus. Uh, since you get Zach, Zach, you get the bonus. You can pick offense, defense. One more guy that I want to, I want to see that number and keep an eye on him. Uh, Juan Pena, he's a defensive back. He's really stepped it up. If you look at him from last year and you saw his play today, mm -hmm. definitely a hitter and definitely knows what he's doing and can play the ball in there. All right, there's some op optimism in the air in Salem. The running game is back and there's a little bit of optimism here. It's good to see uh, Salem High Blue Devils getting ready for the 2013 season. They haven't stopped calling them the Timberland Owls instead of changing it to maybe the Timberland Trailblazers. But the Owls are moving on up to Division I, going, boldly going where a few Timberland teams have gone before. Um, big challenges ahead. I've got Sean Grenier, I've got Zach Downey, and I've got Eric Nelson, a couple of uh, the uh, Timberland leaders. Uh, they just finished up a couple of scrimmage with Salem High, a Division I team. First of all, Sean, how do you like the fact that you guys are stepping up? I like it. You know, we're just lining up, playing whoever shows up, playing our hardest. I mean, that's all we really can do, mm -hmm. just play our hardest. Zach, you're in a conference with some of the tougher teams. Exeter is a tough team. Um, some of the better teams on the Seacoast, Winniconic, um, Spalding, Dover. The teams that seem to battle each other all the time. Do you feel like you guys can fit in yeah. as you grow? Yeah, to be a good team, you got to play a good team. So. And we're used to playing D1 teams, Salem, last year. So we should be good. All right, we got the trigger man, Eric Nelson. He's he's the quarterback, so you gotta, you gotta be the smart guy in the bunch, Eric. You can uh, fill me in. What do you do to replace all the guys 
that you lost, all the, all the other guys who, who you need to fill in those spots? Well, I mean, uh, I think this year it's not about replacing who we had last year. It's just more about working with our guys that we have this year. We got some good talent. We got some people that work hard every day and uh, just going through preseason, getting our reps and uh, just trying to come out and be our best, uh, just getting to 100 percent. So working hard. Do you like the new format? Do you guys like the new format? Has it been accepted around school and stuff? What do you hear? I'm uh, not really used to it yet, but we'll see how it goes. I guess when you're 17, 18, you just play whoever they put in front of you. If they, yeah, put, right. if they put the New England Patriots in front of you. All right, putting everybody on the spot. You can't give me the same answer. I know that's what you do, Zach, because you listen to the quarterback, be the smart thing. Granny, I know you're a defensive guy, so you might be a little bit unique. I need one guy on the defense, other than these three guys here, who's going to surprise me and be a heck of a player on the Tim Lane football team this year. I think Kenny Malcolm is going to surprise you. What position does Kenny play? Plays linebacker with me. Okay. He's a great player, got a great work ethic. I think he's going to come out and surprise a lot of people. All right. I need one guy on the offense who's going to tell me that. All I'll right. tell you what. Uh, we got a young kid, Jason Hughes. He's going to go out. He's he's a spark. He's he'll be the he'll be the uh, that one kid that makes that one play. He's a good player. He'll what be position? good in the future. Quarter, he's a future quarterback. He plays uh, defense too. Okay. But he's he's the future. Yeah, up first, man. He's the All future. Right. I told you you couldn't steal <laughs> his. All right. So let me know now, Zach. Who's your guy? All right. We got uh, we got a young running back, Tyler Fury, a sophomore. Mm -hmm. He's a hard worker in the weight room, so. And Fury, that, that name sounds familiar around these parts. Yeah. I'm guessing he's the next, the next in the, in the breed. We hope. Okay. All right. So the Tim Wayne Owls, look, they're stepping up. They're gonna have a tough road ahead, but there's nothing but excitement on, on these guys right now. Eric Farrell there, quarterback and safety. Patrick Garrity, uh, linebacker and tackle. Uh, Joe Millard, guard and defensive end. Kieran Young, running back. Aaron Gridak, quarterback. Harrison Giza, defensive end and uh, tight end. All right, Harrison, well, heavy workout for you guys today. Coach kind of put the boots to you at the end of the day. What, what, you guys do something wrong this week or uh, um, is it a normal thing in practice? I think it's just because uh, the Alvarez game, we were a little heated mm -hmm. some of the time, so we just got to focus on uh, keeping our cool in the games, you know, taking it out of the field. Okay. New Hampshire switched off this year. We're going to a three-division format. You guys are in, a, in a, uh, the Southern Conference with Pinkerton and Salem and Goffstown and Merrimack. Talking to a big guy, how do you feel like you fit in with those teams? Uh, lost some tough opponents, gaining some tough opponents. We're just going to try to hang in there. Two teams, make it, uh, two teams make it out of the division. I'm guessing that Pinkerton would be the odds-on favorite to be one, but is there really a, a number two there? I'd say we are. You'd say you guys are? Yeah. I mean, uh, tell me why. And there's more leadership among the seniors this year, so hoping it turns out better than last year. Defensively, we struggled at times last year. Yeah. yeah. I know you guys give up a lot of points. Can we turn that around? Is this oh, yeah, what we, we do to tighten that up? Yeah, we got some new guys, but a lot of returning guys coming, so defensively, we will be all set. All right, see, aside from these six guys, we're going to put you all on the spot real quick. Kind of a little word association guy. Give me one guy from outside of this group that's got a, somebody wants to watch in, in London Dairy for uh, in London Dairy this year. Give me one guy, quickly. I'd say Kyle Bird. Why? Uh, he's just explosive, makes a lot of good plays. Okay, you can't take the same guy. Um, Dennis Bishop, he's he's improved a lot since last year. Oh, um, Dan Kirby. Okay. Because he's just an animal and he's just, oh, he's an animal. All right. <laughs> Josh Brathway. Okay. Because he's a mean kid. Mm -hmm. He's going to be hurting some people. All right. Uh, Dan Kirby. Did you say Dan? You said yeah. Dan Kirby already. Was he the little number 60 guy? Yeah. No. 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 Oh, big oh, with the horse that, oh, Chris Bedell, yeah. actually. Yeah. He's a little. <laughs> Is that my guy, number 60, the little guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's a little munchkin, but he, he's. He's one of my first ahead. pick, fellas. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So, London Aries working hard in the heat, looking to get ready for the start of the 2013 football season.